What's up guys, Eternal here and today I'm gonna show you how to play this Andrew Amit. So let's go with crafting potion, I'll be playing against Azir. We want to start with Q first and I'll be using currently the best keystone for Lysandra. You sacrifice some early game damage for the sake of better team fights with armor and magic resist. Huge amount for that really low cooldown that is good. And let's get to her skill explanation. Her new passive when an enemy champion dies near Lysandra they become a frozen throw. Frozen throws seek out living enemies, slowing their movement speed when nearby by 25%. After 4 seconds frozen throw deals magic damage. So this passive is especially useful for the team fight. In the team fight chaos your enemies often won't notice that passive add keep in mind that it triggers for each enemy champion and you don't even need to get a kill on assist to trigger that. It's enough if you are just close to your target. And as for the Q, your main harassing tool and main farming one. It slows for 1.5 seconds by 60% and the slow scales with rank of this ability. Usually you want to damage both minions and your enemy as Q passes through the target and the range is extended a bit that way. And this is the range. So usually you want to keep on the side of your enemy like this, dealt some damage. And Lysandra is best against melee champions since she can really abuse that range. But against ranged ones she is just fine and the reason why I push now is that as you will have a hard time farming that. So I made him lose some CS and as for E it deals magic damage to enemies on hit, reactivating E transports Lysandra to the current claw location. Usually you want to keep E for moments when enemy jungler ganks you, so that way you can get away easily. And when you want to push really fast then you can kill E and usually that's enough to wave clear. Then her W, it deals magic damage to nearby enemies and roots them for 1.1 seconds. So let's go. Okay, he got away. Please, we wasted some mana. And W deals the least amount of damage out of all the three abilities. So if you want to farm with W, you need to put down minions to really low health first. And as you could see, I'm getting some health for minion takedowns thanks to my runes. It's really good for team fights. I'd be harder to kill later. And you want to max Q first. Your usual standard engage combo without ultimate is EWQ. So you transport yourself, then root and slow. Once you lose some health, you want to sugar crafting potion the trade to deal additional damage to your enemy. And the first item that you want to get is Hextech Proto Belt. And since I'm using Aftershock I don't have much killing potential especially with TP and the fact that Azir has barrier. But with the right jungler gank you can get some advantage that way since you can follow up easily with your CC. So you just want to farm for your core items and if you are out of mana then back with TP and repeat the process. So especially after the new passive change it's a bit harder to keep your mana sustained. That's why you should be more efficient with your Q. Yeah my jungle went too early so nothing from that. Azir has berry anyway so I'm better off just farming. I have no killing potential on him. If I had more aggressive junglers such as this in there it would make more sense. But at this point no. Nope. And now I have my ultimate and you can cast ultimate on yourself or your enemy. If you cast it on your enemy then you stun him for 1.5 seconds being magic damage. And if you cast it on yourself then you become invulnerable to damage and untargetable for 2.5 seconds and you start to rapidly recover health. The health restoration scales with your ability power and the amount of your missing health. 
And after that, Dark Eyes emanates from the target, so you deal magic damage in the circle range. The ultimate duration is 3 seconds, and you slow enemies by 30%. It's okay if I'm taking damage because I'm going back anyway. Alright, so if you happen to back Ildi, then Dark Seal is the perfect first item as it grants you nice mana pool and has great synergy with Corrupting Potion. Let's go for this and against more demanding matchups such as something aggressive like Zed, you want to start with this item as it grants nice amount of health and good CDR. I think I try something on bot lane because I pushed K, okay, never mind. And as for the combo with your ultimate, there is one important thing remember not to cast W and ultimate at the same time. Since W is a root and ultimate is a stun, you want to keep your enemy in one place for as long as possible. So, in order to do that, for example, if you start your combo with ult, then you cast W at the very end of the ultimate. So that way your enemy is rooted and your allies are able to do more damage to the target. Or you can just have more time to kill your enemy. I should be able to get her Nice. And that's it. So that was the passive. It's slow, so it's good. I think we can Drake. The passive is not only for the team fight. Imagine if you made a kill kill on lane and you want to push the wave fast and then back. So this passive really helps because it will come to the closest minion wave and detonate on that place. So thanks to that you can push faster and just recall. So now I can only wait for my jungler as you still has berries so I have little killing potential. I will try to be efficient with my mana. So I try to cast Q on as many minions as possible as I said. Not really able to impact bot now, since the wave is being pushed. Usually you want to roam if you push your enemy. So as you has a good wave queue and it only gets better later. So for now he is annoying. I think I just recall. I have so much gold, so let's finish that. Let's get boots, blue trinket. Why getting back from base? You want to eat like that, save some time. And yeah, even though I pinked him, he died. And Protobolt has nice scaling so you can use it to wave clear to save some mana. And overall this item is a nice addition to your combo. So imagine if you just did E, then you can Protobolt and that way you'll be able to get in W range. And as you could notice I made a huge aura attack on the Truet thanks to my runes. It helps in pushing. I think this room page is really good. I'll just flash cause Odor could stun me and then Azim can follow up. But as for E, as you could notice, 
I tried to bait them like I'm going in a different direction and at the very end I pressed my E. Sometimes it works and that way you can just get away. They really want to use my ultimate now. Now that I have a blue buff, I can go more aggressive. Activated that actually. Oh, not too rage. Triple. This is but a battle. I've already won the war. Actually, I'm going that side. Not in rage, nothing I can do. Trash is coming, that's unlucky. And Harold was taken. He wants to use that on mid. Then let's go for magic pen and the next item that you wanna get is Zonia. Thinking of saving my TP so I might impact side lanes. You should especially look for bot lane and just try to impact TP to ward. So you see guys, I used my protobolt, thanks to that I was able to get in W range. And you might question when do you want to out yourself and when do you want to out your enemy. Like usually you can go more aggressive with enemy cast if you build your Zonia or if you are sure that your allies can just follow up so you are safe, you won't be that much focused. Or if you have your E up, knowing that you can just get away. Oh, the first threat, so nice. Saving your TP sometimes is worth it, because if you waste so much mana, then you can just get it back. After Zonia you want Morello, but if you are facing many healing dependent champions such as Darius, then you can go Morello second, assuming you are very ahead and that you are not expecting to be focused too much. But usually you want to go Morello third and Zonia second. Can I go aggressive on him? I think I can soon. You want to max E seconds so that way you can decrease the cooldown of this ability allowing you to make more plays. Right now it's 12. I need to deal with Azir first to be able to roam. They have vision or as you just ping them. Triple. 
right. Oh, Timo is low. I hope that he will stay. Though there can be a shroom somewhere. He pressed W, so yeah, Azir is definitely pinging them like crazy. Okay, he's scared. Blue buff is so nice on Lissandra. Pantheon, that should be. Oh, there she was. Nice. So, kind of a triple kill. He might stop, so he can take the trick. And I push bot a bit. Yeah, 30 something cooldown on protobility slow. Let's get some items and I can TP in case something happens. Later you can split push with Lissandra, especially with blue buff, because you can join whenever you want with the right TP. Mm. Is it worth TP? Not yet. Why did he die there? Now it's gone. Ah, so close. Alright, finished my Morello. Later, as lightning phase ends and towards late game, you just want to search for pickups as you can make them easily with your ult or W. more okay Timo will be annoying and with your ultimate you can either protect your ally by stunning anything that is the closest threat or just remove the threat easily and fast. This is but a battle. I've already won. Hunter's on the press. Run and hide. Like 
One for one. Let's go for that. Should be free. We can press W like this or even later, but unless you want to just one shot your target, then you wait. But I have enough damage, then I don't want to wait for my W. Now without the carries, we might try Baron. Vayne is coming, yeah. Hope that my allies can follow up. Oh, nice. This passive is actually a huge threat later, as it scales nicely with my ability power. There should be another. Red for that. Okay, and back. Let's see if there's a blue buff. Nope. Now, depending on enemies, if they're building much magic resist, then you go void stuff. Else, you want that cap. Let's go full potion as well. Not engaging yet, cause I need my allies to be there first. Now it's a bad ult. He's trying too hard, like forcing things. I just use my protoboat. Nice, nice damage. The cooldown of Oath is relatively low at third rank. I will have him and now Baron. That's it. Just for that damage. Not really speed pushing because we are ahead, so I just want to stay with my team and make sure that I can impact as much. But with TP I could as well just split push all the time. Another Drake is up soon. Yeah, my team will do the Drake while I just wave clear.
and we can go bot. Going bot now is good because there's secondary threat why there's no threat on mid though if my team decides to engage now that's bad because I'm not there. Try to save them using old cause you know the even if you cast it on yourself you still deal damage around. So if your enemies are just low enough, then cast it on yourself, restore some health, and then you can repeat the process with your abilities being off cooldown. That's an Uder alone and Jin is coming so... I mm. think that's enough. Enemies are respawning so no. Dead Cup, Elixir again. We want to stay grouped and I just try to make a nice pickup. I have Zonia so I'm safe. Oh, Pantheon already started something. Hmm, that's slow. Uh, right in the shroom. Add him top now, no point going mid. Let's just close the game as it should be. Elixir helps, I can deal more damage to threat. And let's back. Now just bot and the game is done. And it's fine even if my allies just pressure mid as I have TP. So let's go for that bot. They are done. Pressured from both sides. I have nice mana pool so now I can do some more on minions. It takes less mana to clear now. I kind of calculated that I can root one and stun another. Try to be efficient with that, knowing the damage. And that's the game guys, so thank you guys for watching, hope that you learned something out in Zandra, leave a like, subscribe and see you next time.